Hello everyone, my name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning at the top of the map in the red color playing as Set. His name is Squash, his opponent today in the blue color playing as Isis. His name is Shelty or Emperor Spirit. The map is a Midgard, it's currently uh, one to zero in this. I have no idea how many games they actually played, but It's one to zero. The record stands on the day they played these games in the order that I'm casting them at one to zero. <laughs> Fishing ships coming out of the uh, of the dock. All the good things happening. Isis versus, uh, what was this god? Isis versus Set. Very interesting, um, very interesting matchup, to say the least, on Midgard. There's not a lot of advantages that Set has over Isis on this map. Um, oftentimes, Set wins, uh, or Set gets his advantages over Isis by his animals, basically, using them to get map control. But on this map, it's not that important, at least in the early stages when Set need, when Set gets the map control. Because uh, if you look at, look at the kind of map layout, you can see... Gold mines are, are always fairly safe. You always have like one fairly safe gold mine. One here, one here. There's even one here. They're all kind of fairly safe. So it's really hard for anyone to prevent that. So the, the maps generally, or the, the games generally go pretty uh, pretty long here. Um, for those who are wondering, these games were, were played uh, not but pretty recently. Pretty recently, they they uh, they were first page of the uh, recorded game list that uh, Squash had. So yes, yes. But how's the fish looking? That's the big question. Pretty good. It's fairly even. Um, if anything, Squash's Squash's fish is very nice. Look, he's got what? I can't do math, but 12, 12 fish. No, yes. 12 fish really close to his, or even uh, 15 fish really close to his first dock. Um, Shelty on the other hand, a little bit different. A little bit different. Relics on the map that we never see grabbed. The head of Orpheus. Eight building line of sight. It's actually not a bad relic to pick up. I think this, this relic gets slept on a little bit. The extra line of sight, if you look at what um, Signal Flares is, six line of sight for 150 wood. And, no and, and normally everybody gets that, that upgrade at some point, either in the early late game or the late game for sure, because it just allows you to see all the side builds, right? But this relic here is eight building line of sight, which is even more. And you can get it straight at the start of the game, which is gonna allow you to spot some raids happening early and, and a lot more of the stuff going on in the game. We've got Hardest Folly as well. This relic, on the other hand, does lack quite a bit of pizzazz, given that it only gives line of sight to scouts. And there's really not that many scouts that you're gonna be wanting to have the extra line of sight on. So, unfortunately, not the most exciting of relics this game, but it is an exciting map for these gods. And that's a thing too. Skull says he can't hear me, but I think Skull should be uh, possibly turning his volume up. And the temple coming up for Shelty. And Squash over here also getting his temple. So both look like they're doing a fairly similar build. Um, I love I love watching these players that really know the kind of meta and they just do the builds. They do them so well, and we can see this from Squash here. Four villages, food was the start, and then he went four. Um, then he went four villages or six villages wood, and then four villages gold, and he just gets this fish coming out so fast. He's going to be advancing at about four thirty, and he's going to have twenty-ish fish. And Shelty as well. On the other hand, um, he he did something similar with five villages on uh, on wood and five villages on gold. So he'll be a little bit behind the 20 field fishing ship, maybe 18 or so, but he will be able to spam the docks out a little bit faster. And you can see he's already doing that. So big, uh, big thing. Oh, 
Um, yes. Okay, so now, Shelty, going through Bars, advancing to the next age. 12 villages on... On wood, throwing up a monument to the, to the, uh, the villages there. Uh, it's looking like we're seeing some sort of a classical age fight here from Shelty on the water, just a little bit. I think it's fairly standard to either go straight for a second town center, make about mm, 10 cabinet if you're not going for the straight for the second town center and go to the heroic age at like nine minutes, or go for a fast heroic here as Isis. Those are kind of your options. Um, Squash, on the other hand, he's got 10 villages on... He's got 10 villages on gold, and it's looking like he's going for a town center. Yeah. Chuck the town center up, follow that up with purse scene, and then build your cabinets out and defend until you get to the next age. More houses going up for Shelty here. What's he going to do? He does see an instant purse scene from him. It's almost like his economy is just suffering a little bit more because he didn't doesn't have as much fishing ship. Is that what's going on here? Well, it's roughly the same. Only one fishing ship different. But obviously, Squash's uh, fish was very, very nice. <laughs> oh, God. The Sphinx. The, the Sphinx taking some pain, but I think Shelty knows. He's, he's happy to just... Defend here. See if he can save it. 9 HP, 4 HP. Gonna run away. And he will get away from this. And he'll be able to heal the Sphinx all the way back up to full HP. Gets the Wadget Snipe. And he's gonna return to his um, his base here. Heal this Sphinx back up. Be very, very happy. And do we see any cabinets? We see a couple cabinets coming through. Squash shitting under his dock with two. And Shelty not paying attention. Does decide to turn around there. And it's gonna be a, a, basically an even fight here with the dock shooting against these things. Nice micro from Squash saving Thank that you. one cabinet over here. And we'll see who's gonna win this fight. Uh, but when Squash is at two town centers, getting the armory come up, just spamming villagers. And Shelty not able to get this town center at all. He's not going for a second town center. He's just going straight for the second age. So this is the fast, or well, the semi-fast heroic here where you're, where you're building the cabinets and you let your food economy just come to you from your fishing ship. Uh, Armory a little bit delayed here for Shelty, but we'll see what he can do. He looks like he's going for a, maybe an all-in on the, on, the, on, the, on the land here. Or he does have the option of going... Um, of, of just Ancestor Eclipse Economy and then making Seed Ship because Squash is going to... I was going to say Squash is going to be super far behind this because he's gone two town centers, but Squash is going to the Heroic Hedge at exactly the same time as Shelty with a town center. So if this is what... This is what crisp build orders do for you. And this is why Squash is so good. This is an insane, insane timing here from Squash. He doesn't have as many cabinets, but it doesn't matter because he can sit underneath this dock, make it work for him. He's going to lose this fight slightly here, but he's uh, he, he, he's going to have siege ships coming out to defend later. He's going to have such a strong economy um, just from the two town centers spamming villages here. And Squash even throwing villages onto food at this point. And... On top of that, controlling this gold mine here is very, very important. So we'll see where uh, where Shelty wants to go with this. It's looking like he's moving up to this location. He has a couple of priests, as well as the Sphinx. And there is the Heroic Age from Shelty. Moving forward now, there is a Monument to the Soldiers coming up. Remember, Squash has Shifting Sands in this game. So he can still use that to attack this. So the Monument has to come up first, followed by the... Uh, the Migdal, and hopefully uh, Shelty doesn't get caught here. Squash, not making any movements there. He's throwing up his own Migdal stronghold. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but that's kind of okay at the same time. And do we see an instant... Um, I do not think we see one. No, we don't see one. No instant uh, instant uh, Sultan 4. Maybe for Shelty though? No, no, no Sultan 4 there either. And the big doll is up. We're going to be making our war elephant and a chariot archer. Okay. 
Interesting, but squash, man, I, I feel, I'm feeling like this Ancestors Eclipse push is going to be, it's going to be real important for squash to have the priest out and get his ancestors off first. Third town center coming up for squash now. Really, really crazy fast second or third town center on this map. And while this is going on, we do see a Leviathan here to pick off some of uh, Shelty's cabinets. Meanwhile, the units have spotted each other and Swash knows what's coming for him. Does he have funeral rites? No funeral rites, no real gold in the bank. He does have a nice gold mine over here. He's got a gold mine over here as well. Uh, so Shelty not going to be able to push off both of those. The Siege works coming up for Squash. This is majority Chariot Archers right now versus the War Elephant and Chariot Archer Priest Army here. We're probably going to see an Ancestors Eclipse get thrown down here. There's the Ancestors for Squash preemptively. And there is Shelty throwing his own Ancestors Eclipse down. Priests are out here, but they're not microing to the best of their ability. They don't have Funeral Rites, but they do have uh, Hands of the Pharaoh. That just gives them more range, so it doesn't really help them deal with this. And now the Ancestors are going to be pushing Squash back as the Siege Tower is pushing in. And this is maybe too early. There's only two Siege Towers here. I mean, there's two Siege Towers and four War Elephants. So this could be potentially a lost Town Center for Squash. We'll see if he can defend it. He's going to be having to spam out some of those Mercenaries. He's trying to. He doesn't have that much gold economy right now. He only has Pickaxe. Needs to invest into Shaft Mine. Would be very important. And now the War Elephant are coming onto this Town Center. We have 15 seconds left of these Mercenaries. And we do see the Villagers trying to pop out in order to pick off these Siege Towers. But the Mercenaries should immediately turn around. Start jabbing away at them because they do so much damage. We will see most of these uh, villages getting picked off. Pharaoh also getting almost sniped there, and the town center getting very, very low as the, the war elephants doing a lot of damage here. But both of those siege towers were picked off. A third siege tower coming in though, and this is going to be close. There is shifting sands. He can pull this elsewhere if he wants to save this. He can. He will be able to probably pull off two of these War Elephant, if not even more. And they're sitting at 200 HP Squash, desperately trying to save this. But this is so many resources that uh, Sheldy is pushing into this town center. And even though he's got, gone and taken it out, just think about it. This is 500 resources for the Egyptian, and you just spent five War Elephant and four Siege Towers on this town center. And it's going to immediately be rebuilt right now. Meanwhile, Shelty getting his second town center going. He's got a lot of wood in the bank. He needs to be thinking about gold at this point. No shaft mine for him either. If you guys have looked at the gold, the gold gather rate, you'll realize that shaft mine is such a key technology for Egyptian. You don't have to worry too much about quarry, but you definitely need to prioritize getting the shaft mine because it really, really boosts the, uh, the gold gather rate. And we still have no uh, Salt Amphora for Shelty. Squash, on the other hand, does have Salt Amphora. So his food economy is going to be booming. Uh, almost sitting at full population now. And we see the Chariot Archers. We have an eye on this town center. Coming in for a little bit of a raid here. But there are no villages in this position here. And this may be a little bit of a waste of population in giving... Uh, Given Shelty a little bit of an opportunity here to push forward, but I feel like just attacking this location is not the best idea. If Shelty could just send out a little hit squad of chariot archers, could be big. We are seeing chariots have found some villages over here. They can just jump into this town center and move over to this snowy pine and be okay. I'd love to see this uh, this gold mine getting targeted here. If you're Shelty, you've got to realize that there's a gold mine somewhere in this vicinity. Uh, you haven't scouted because he's not on this gold mine. He's not gathering from this at all. Well, now he is, but he wasn't. So, we will see. Mark coming up for Shelty now. Maybe he thinks Mythic Age will save him, but I, I imagine Squash is, Squash is already going to the Mythic Age through Thoth. And now a fourth town center coming in for Squash. He's just... So far ahead, just because of that immaculate early game that he displayed. A couple of chariot archers may get sniped here, but Shelty not paying attention. This town center will be coming up. Meanwhile, Shelty's still trying to push through here. Even more siege towers 
are here, but the villagers are here as well. And Heavy Chariots has come in for Ember Spirit. Squash hits the Mythic Age through Thoth. We'll see what he does want to do with that one. You can't really use um, Meteor like you use Tornado because it's very random where it's going to hit their targets and you can't bank on it really killing the town center or something like that. So you're going to be a little bit more creative with your um, with your Meteors here. He's got 36 favor in the bank so he can get that that tusk of what you call it i always forget uh tusk of apodemac helping out your uh, elephants but there are no war elephants just yet so maybe better to just hold off on that one and get uh get valley of the kings as an option as well you see the the phoenix is going to be nid hogging all over these chariots here it does have the splash damage, so if they're bunched up, it does so much damage. You can see some of that micro from Squash as well. Pulling the Phoenix back, we'll be losing it. You see some favor getting spent there. Not sure what on. Would love to know. Getting Valley of the Kings, all right. Fair enough. Minor Ossifers of Set doing some things as well. Have the siege works coming in for Shelty. So he does retreat here, and we'll see what happens. More Shared Archers getting built for the, the elephants with the Valley of the Kings. They produce basically straight away and he's just going for this town center. He can cast Meteor on this now to finish it off if he needs to. And this is the fourth town center here. He has to pick off the monuments of the villages and Shelty, as a reaction to that, does decide to tap out. Completely unupgraded War Elephant with Valley of the Kings. What a play there by Squash in order to take this game. Well played though. I, I think that this just came down to some really good decision making. So, Shelty spent, what is it? Shelty spent an extra 100 gold on docks here than Squash did, which was the big difference between having resources to get a second town center. He, I think he built the Monuments of Villages before he got the town center, so that's not a difference. So beyond that, I don't see any difference in the in the buildings that were made, and Squash just managed to get to 400 gold so much earlier than uh, Shelty because he was on the mining camp. He had 10 villages on the gold mine. He got this town center up, and he defended. Always what you want to do, get the second town center and defend. Never kind of don't want to be attacking while you're going for an early second town center unless you've got free units of some sort. But yeah, well played there by uh, by Squash. I, I think this would be a really good um, instructional recorded game for anyone who wants to get into Egyptian play on Midgard because he played it. What well, he played what looked like perfection on this map for set. So well played. We'll move on to game number three really shortly. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and it's 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 going to be a fun night.